Welcome to day two of Advent of Code. If you haven't watched day one, feel free to check it out. Um, today we're gonna solving we're gonna be solving this day two e problem, and it is about passwords. And we need to make sure in each of these passwords we have two to nine C's in the password. And yeah, that's basically it. And we have to return how many passwords are valid out of this list. So basically, I have already uh, copied like the baseline from day one. We can copy this test here because I, I consider this being the unit test. We need the value to be two in the end. And let's just get started. So this is exactly like day one. And now we can do, um, so first of all, we need a variable which is a uh, number of valid passwords which is going to be zero and then for each line we're going to do something about it oops let's go with that um, so first of all we need to extract the definition here like the one three a and this so we're going to use a regular expression um, this is the start, this is the end of the regular expression. First of all, we're going to have a um, number composed of no, um, yeah, number composed of several digits, then another number composed of several digits as well. Is that the format? Yeah, number, number. So yeah, here there's just one number, but I believe uh, there might be, actually let's try, there might be several digit numbers. Yes, that's, that's what's happening. There are several digits numbers. So it's good to do uh, to add this little plus here. And I'm adding the parentheses in order to get a match. So that we can extract that. Okay, so I'm good with the spaces. Now I can just do this final string of characters. And I do exec on the line. Const matches equal that. Let's just log this. No day two. Oops, day two the JS. Okay, let's go. Uh, we have one, three A and A B C D. That's good. I'm gonna add naming. Uh, so this is from. This is a nice. Uh, tool in regular expression that allows you to name your matching groups. So then here instead of matches I can use groups. Let's go with that. Yes, so from to char password. So we have a good foundation. Now we were able to extract all the right information from the data. Now we want to use this data. So we're going to use uh, groups.password. We, we split this string of characters into an array of individual characters. And then for each of those, Uh, counter, we're just gonna create an object here. Uh, if counter of char, if the, if this count is not initialized yet, we set it to zero, and then we just have to increment it, which is good enough to create a counter that counts the characters. Now we just have to check um, counter of uh, groups that char. And this should be equal, um, should be, so this should be more or bigger or equal to from, sorry, groups that from, and this should be less or equal to groups that to. And if this is the case, then we just, we can just say valid password plus plus. And in the end, we just have to uh, log our valid password, valid passwords count. Let's try this out. It's two. 
And I believe this was what we were expecting for our unit case. So now let's just go with the full pro the full input. 10, oh, just 1000 lines. And we have 636 valid passwords. Let's see, is that the right count? Yes, that's the right answer. Let's go to part two. Part two, this is the same input always. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so it's the same input, but now a different problem statement. Each policy describes two positions in the password. Where one means the first character, two means the second character, and so on. Exactly one of these positions must contain the given letter. Okay. So here we need one position one and three to have either one or the other should have the letter A. So I think this is fine. It's gonna most likely be even simpler. Um, so let's just do that again. I'm just gonna paste that. We're just gonna do something very similar. Here we're not gonna have to do this counting now. What we need to do, we need to check if um, groups that password of uh, groups that from is equal to um, groups that char. And here we have to use the XOR because we just want one of these two positions to be the letter uh, that is here. So here I just need to put two, and I believe this should do the trick. So um, you know what? We're just gonna say that we've solved it, and we're gonna try that answer. I'm gonna try that answer right away. Let's see. That's not the right answer. Okay. <laughs> no worries. We're gonna just um, take this test scenario and run it. So in the end, we have one valid password. Is that the case? So this is valid, this is invalid, invalid. I'm gonna take a short break to brainstorm what hap what's happening. Okay, I think I've found the issue. Uh, so here we, s we say the position one of A is here. But of course, the way we index our string this position for us is zero. So we need to uh, do minus one here and there. And I believe it won't change the result here, but it should solve everything. Because we are, yeah, we were not taking the right, the right data input. Hope you understood what, what, what was happening. But this was basically a zero indexed versus one indexed issue. Now we have a lot more results, that a lot more passwords that are valid. Let's run that. Is it the right answer? That's it for today. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, leave a like, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.